photo b tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can use photo p as a beginner so having said that let's just jump into the video now photo p is an amazing editor it's a photo editing tool and it's totally free to use and it's all online you don't even need to download it so let's get into it so over here start using photo p by clicking on this button and there you have it you are good to go this is the whole operation you don't even need to create an account but if you do want to create an account click on the account button and here you can see you have the free account and the premium uh, in the free version you get all features and p drive of a 0.5 gigabytes whereas you go with the premium it's going to be five dollars per month you get all the features and you get five gigabytes of drive no ads 3000 all ai credits per month and two times more steps in history you have these ones options right here where you have go premium options single user team of five team of 20 and team of 50 team settings contributors and ai credits as well select whichever option you want and here you have the login button click on the login button and you can log in your credentials over here you don't actually need to create an account if you want to go ahead and go premium then and only then can you go ahead and create an account other than that you can go ahead and use the free you can see right here there is no need to create an account so this is how it looks like uh here at the top you're going to see you have your options like file edit image layer select and everything else and then over here you have your options like drive p drive google drives dropbox and everything and here you have your project settings like templates open from computer and new projects and down below you can see the file that it, it supports any jpeg gif svg raw pdf sketch fig xd ai and psd files as well so you won't have to worry about that and if you want to create a new project click on the create new project button and here you have the canvas select the canvas that you want for example instagram youtube profile youtube cover and if you want a custom design here you can see you can go with a custom design over here by adding your own width your own height and choosing the pixels these are of course socials here you have print photo screen mobile ads and you have the 2n i don't know what that means but there we go and then left hand side you have some projects or some templates if you wanted to go ahead and create it so there you have it so let's get into it so let's assume that you want uh let's go to print and go with an a4 picture right this is the one that we want this is how it would look like on these different you can see previews right so this is how they would look like they, they, those are the previews. and then over here you have the dpi you can increase them this is going to be like i mean you already know what that means like those are dots per inches and here you can see we have pixels pixel per inch over here if you have pixel per centimeter that's how it's going to look like width height everything so this is the one that we want we select that we name the project whatever we want and then we click on Create. you can even select the profile srgb or adobe rgb 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit whatever you want you can even get a white you can even get a background with a transparent background black background blank background whatever you want uh, here you have the color if you want artboard you can select that but it totally depends on you then you hit the create button and there you have it you have the canvas right here and once you're over here you can zoom in and zoom out by hitting the alt button and then using the mouse scroll to zoom in if you want to move it sideways use the control button or the control button and you can move it sideways and if you want to move it up and down just release the control button and just use your mouse wheel to move up and down sideways is going to be with control and mouse wheels zoom in and zoom out is going to be alt and mouse wheel so those are some things that you would need right so let me just zoom in on the canvas a little bit like that i think that looks good let me actually zoom out a little bit here we go so on the left hand side you have your main options so you've got your tools just like adobe premiere if you were to use them use adobe premiere you would use this as well because it's very similar all of the tools are available over here at the top you've, you've got your files you've got your layers transform controls alignments and everything and here on the right hand side you've got your layer options channels path and everything else if you wanted to create a layer you can come down over here you can see right here you have this new layer button over here at the bottom right corner click on it you can create a new layer you see these eyes over here if you select them it becomes invisible so let's say we don't want to see this one and then i take a pen tool and i select the pen tool and i write anything right here uh let me just go ahead and select that these are anchor points actually these are not the pen tools free pen that's the one that we would need 
there we go so let me just actually undo it by pressing the Control z button that undoes it if i want to redo it then i just press Control shift z and there we go Control z is undo Control shift z is redo so i wanted to write something over here i just do this squiggly lines then i just select this layer and i you can see right here uh this is how it looks like over here currently this is over here on this layer and not on this layer if i were to delete this layer i would just hit the delete button or i can hit the trash can button at the bottom right corner and it would delete it all right so let me create a new layer and then delete this layer so i think this is not the pen tool sorry about that i got mixed up this is the pen tool right here actually this is the brush tool not the pen tool the pen tool is used to define curves and stuff uh i wanted to show you this one so add some squiggly lines you have to select the layer if you don't select the layer right then it won't work so right now i have these squiggly lines on layer number one and i'll add another these curves at the corner on layer number two so now if i were to press the i button the top layer is now invisible and if i were to press the bottom layer you can see the squiggly lines or the curve lines at the corner disappear so you can see this is how it works if you wanted to write something on a specific layer if you're working with multiple layers that's how you can go ahead and see unselect and appear and reappear layers over here so that's how it looks like and here is the history here you can see what it is that you are doing swatches are going to be over here and you can see you have other options as well these are like text tools and brush settings stroke settings as well you can see right here this is currently the tip dynamic if you want to have it scatter uh, this is how it would look like you can go ahead and add scatter patterns you can see right here now it's a little bit different and if you want less jitter this is how it would look like increase the count if you want then it'll be a little bit more smoother but you know it is what it is and here you've got your jitter positions if you zero it like lower it like really lower it then it's almost non-existent it's actually a pretty smooth bomb but that is if you want to have it on uh these are different options these are tip dynamics as well so for example if it was tip dynamic if you turn it on this is how it looks like roundness over here minimal roundness over here uh, angle of jitter dynamic if you want to have control you can add fade like for example it'll be like a little dot i don't think it is actually creating it but you can see right here that's how it looks like but i don't want that you can even add like a pen pressure if you have certain amount of, if you have like different tools that are pressure sensitive you can add that but i don't really need that so i'll just leave it as it is and yeah so next you have color dynamics and transfer as well so these are brush strokes these are text ones as well as paragraph ones and this is like a whole gallery where you can go ahead and import different images over here so for example like this dog one over here and this uh, mountain one this is how it looks like you can see we have multiple layers now of the same one so i'll actually delete this one there we go so this is the dog one you can see right here and this is the mountain one if i wanted to move this one right all i would have to do is come over here and this is the hand tool this will allow us to move the entire uh, canvas and if you hold it down you can rotate the view as well so that's pretty cool and over here at the top you will see you have you have the smarts tool select right this is the lasso select this will allow you to select any object within it so it's like a cut kind of and if you hold it down you can add magnetic lasso so over here it is but it'll attach it to the exact same object so for example if i were to zoom out uh, you can see that the line it's actually quite hard to see but uh, maybe over here on the moon you could see it uh, it's right now it's finding the points where the mountain is ending you can see right here let me zoom in and it's finding those curves and it's going to go ahead and trace it and create like a you can create these edges as well so for example if i were to do this do this you can create this entire image over here and you can cut it as well you can see right here this is the layer but yeah this is how it looks like this is the entire shape so you can do pretty cool stuff with it but yeah it all depends on you so there you have it that's how you do it that's how you use photo p as a beginner so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye